Wake up, Jeremy. Jeremy. We have to talk. Oh, shit. I'm too young to go to jail. And permit me to introduce myself. I am Modoc at your service. You mean you're not a cop? Jeremy, it has come to my attention that you have recently had a sordid sexual encounter with a strange and beautiful woman. <laughs> it wasn't sordid. You were bitten by this woman, were you not? That's none of your damn business. Jeremy, this woman was, how shall I say, infected. Oh, God. She looked so clean. Oh, all right. I'll cooperate. But please, don't tell my parents. I think I'm missing something in the translation here. You're not from the health department? No. <clears throat> all right. What is this all about? Have you experienced anything strange or unusual during the past 24 hours? Just you. Yeah. How about them? A couple of stupid dogs. Big deal. They know, Jeremy. When that woman bit you, she transferred a legacy onto you, the legacy of a secret society which has endured for centuries. You're not like other people anymore. Come on, who the hell are you? A new awareness is arising within you, new desires. Even as we speak, you can feel it, can't you? No! No longer will you tread with ordinary men. Get to the point! <laughs> all right, all right. In a nutshell, you're alive, but you're not alive. You're dead, but you're not dead. Do you ever hear the word undead? How about this one? Vampire? I hope you've heard that one, because that's what you are, okay? A vampire? Mm. I wanted to break it to you nice and easy, but no. Everything with you young people has to be fast, fast, fast. Get out of here. I know. It's a shock. No one wants to believe it can happen to them. I'm not a vampire. Hi. Get out of here. Jeremy. Hi. Uh, I thought I heard you talking to somebody. Uh, no. That was the radio. No. Like the radio, it sounded like a man's voice. Um. Well, good night. Ooh.